Hi, I'm Matt from Haltech and today I'm going to give you a preview of one of the much anticipated features of the Haltech Elite Series ECUs and how the Elite stands out from the crowd in its implementation. So today we're going to look at drive-by-wire throttle control. So let me start by giving you an overview of exactly what drive-by-wire throttle is how it works and some advantages of drive-by-wire over a cable throttle. So what is drive-by-wire throttle? Well, put simply, drive-by-wire throttle is where the mechanical linkage between the throttle and the accelerator pedal is replaced with an electric linkage. The way this is done is by placing sensors on the accelerator pedal in the cabin and the throttle blade on the motor and then driving the actual throttle blade itself with an electric motor. So this is fairly commonplace on a lot of modern engines. So what are the advantages of doing this? Well, the first advantage is throttle response and drivability. Having the same electronics that are controlling the fuel delivery and the ignition timing, controlling the throttle opening position, the ECU is no longer playing catch up to what the sensors are reading. Rather, it can now accurately predict what the engine is going to do next based on the rate of the position of throttle movement that it's about to control. This results in a much smoother and more drivable engine. The second advantage of drive-by-wire throttle is additional functionality. Features like cruise control and idle control now no longer need additional engine hardware to operate. And finally, and most importantly, the biggest advantage of drive-by-wire throttle is actually safety. Now I know what you're thinking. Safety? Really? Many people regard electronic throttle control as a risky proposition. I mean, an electric motor controlling my engine? That sounds risky. What if the electronics fail? Or what if something goes wrong? Is my car just going to accelerate off on its own? And this is a valid concern if drive-by-wire throttle is not implemented correctly. Because something like this is possible, which is exactly why at Howtech we've gone to some extreme measures to ensure that our drive-by-wire throttle setup is 100%. So, let's explore that for just a moment. Say you've got a mechanical throttle and, and something jams in the throttle body and it jams it open. Now, no matter what you do with the accelerator pedal in the cabin, the throttle stays open. The ECU will continue to run the engine and potentially the vehicle takes off on its own. Well, what about another scenario of a snapped throttle return spring or a linkage breakage or even a throttle blade breakage? All of these conditions with a mechanical linkage would actually cause the engine to run out of control. Now, let's look at the same situation with a Haltech Elite ECU and drive-by-wire throttle. Let's start with a throttle plate jam. In this case, the ECU would read that the throttle is jammed open, but the accelerator pedal in the cabin is reading the throttle should be closed. Immediately, the ECU knows that something isn't right and it sends the engine into a limp mode by reducing engine RPM by cutting fuel or ignition or both. How about the snap return spring? Well, in this case, the electronic equivalent would be that the throttle control motor is failing, and again, the ECU is monitoring that the requested throttle position in the cabin is not matching what's happening in the engine, and therefore it can go into a limp mode, protection mode, cut the engine with fuel or ignition. What about if there's a, a wiring fault, and one of the sensors that's used to determine what the throttle is doing fails? Well again, there's redundancy built in here as well. Both the electronics throttle control motor and the accelerator pedal have two sensors that are compared to one another and in the event that one fails or goes into error, the ECU again can cut the fuel delivery or the ignition timing to prevent the engine from running out of control. What about the possibility that the ECU itself just loses its mind if it were to say get corrupted for some reason and just starts opening the throttle for no reason? Well, we've thought of that very rare possibility as well, and running inside the Elite ECU is actually a dual processor. The second processor dedicated just to checking up on what the main throttle control processor is doing, making sure it's still active and accurate, and most importantly, operating as it should. And as a third line of defense, this second processor also monitors both the throttle and the accelerator position sensors, to ensure everything is operating with intolerance. If either processor detects a problem, they have the power to recalibrate the throttle, send the engine into limp mode, or in the extreme case, shut the engine down. 
We've gone to some very extreme lengths to show that the Elite ECU drive-by-wire throttle control outperforms a cable throttle in every way. Now talking of performance, what are some of the potential advantages that can be gained by using drive-by-wire throttle in a performance application? Well, traction control is probably the most obvious use. Compare the front wheel speed to the rear wheel speed, and if the driven wheel is travelling faster than the other, then you could set up a table to close the throttle. The bigger the difference in wheel speeds, the more you might want to close the throttle. Or maybe you have a rally car, and you want to use the rally anti-lag feature. Well, that's no problem with drive-by-wire throttle. You can have your foot on the brake, and rather than the throttle returning close and losing boost, the throttle could return to, say, 50%, and along with a timing retard, you can maintain as much boost as you like. There may be another use that I haven't mentioned. Maybe it's cruise control on a hot rod, or a pit lane speed limiter. Uh, it may be to prevent cavitation on a race boat propeller. What is for sure is that the Haltech Elite ECU is packed full of exciting new features that you guys are going to love. Well, that's all I have time for today. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I'm Matt from Haltech, and I'll see you next time.